But, but when the things happen, uh, you just have to really devote day and night into it. Day and night into it. And that's why I'm glad my wife is actually here, so that I know all this missing night, what I was doing. <laughs> you know, the opportunity like that don't come very often. So when it, when it comes, you have to seize it. Did you worry about what happened between 1994 and 1996, in particular 1996? Because that's really when the lawsuit occurred. <laughs> they, they did have a period of a time. And what happened then? Well, they do have a misstep at that point uh, because their product wasn't right. And they, they build their business really on the reputation of this kind of waterproof. Uh, that they're the first guy who really come up with this concept of waterproof. And so they did, uh, you know, sort of mix, they send mixed signals of both waterproof to shoes and non waterproof to shoes. And, and in marketing, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. And it confused the market, and it confused the integrity of their claim, and, and, and they suffered. But even with that year, the revenue pretty much has still gone up. <clears throat> I mean, they have a one year of a blemish. Most of the time, they have executed their business quite brilliantly. Yes? Yeah, when you have the close relationship with the son of the company, <coughs> does that trigger the inside the pity It does. <clears throat> That's why I didn't really buy anything afterwards. You don't have to. You already bought everything at 28. <laughs> you, know, you know, when they go up, you, don't, you just have to sit your ass on it. Don't have to do a damn thing. That's a good thing about really buying a good business. The business take care of yourself. I mean, as Chase said, you're riding up and down with the <clears throat> with, with with the strength of the business. And you, yes. How, how much time did you spend doing your due diligence before you bought your? Actually, no more than a couple of weeks. I mean, all of those surprisingly it doesn't take all that long. Exactly. But but when the things happens, uh, you just have to really devote day and night into it, day and night into it. And that's why I'm glad my wife is actually here, so that I know all this missing night, what I was doing. You know, <laughs> you know, the opportunity like that don't come very often. So when it, when it comes, you have to seize it. You have to do everything complete, but you have to do it fast. And that's why you have to train yourself all those times. And you don't have to do a damn thing. Put things into a bank, that's OK. You don't have to buy anything. But when opportunity comes, you have to jump on it. And that's what I did. When you finish all of the things, it doesn't take all that long, but you take intensive work for a short period of time. Yes? Do you, uh, do you normally find things on screen? Do you use it? Okay. Well, I like to read that one mostly because it's in itself is a good activity. I don't have to find anything. I learn. And I'm curious about all businesses. And that's why when opportunity can come, within a few seconds, you can tell. You can smell it. How can you really develop that smell? The only way to do that is just reading page after page. And value line is particularly good because it really puts you know, all sorts of different data and all sorts of, 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 of years in not just one year. And so that's the you know, easiest way for you to really learn a whole bunch of different businesses. Yes. So what percentage of your time did you put in it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't really keep that confidential, but a shitload. <laughs> okay, let's go back to, to a year and a half ago. Okay, so this is a fall. And, you know, this thing come from this book. I mean, this you know, is, you know, this you know, this is like a you know standard poor. Uh, well, you know, every every you know every broker has a book in every country. Give you you know one page summary of every company. You know, it's just you know, S and P has a book for U.S. companies, and which I use, but I, I prefer to use Value Line, as I said, because of a U.S. company it just give you more information. And for other countries, they don't have Value Lines, so you go with this. Okay, so I just flipping on that one at that point. You know, there's a one page, you know, jumps on, and so that's the page. So what uh, people can tell you about that page? Yes? Right. What do you mean by cheap? Uh, 
Well, if you really think about your, your owner, don't think about per shares, okay? So if you just train yourself from now on. Don't think about per share numbers. Think yourself as an owner. So give me, what is the market cap? Come on, it's simple. Come on. And I thought you guys all did homework, did you? Anybody did homework? Not a one hand. Raise your hand if you did homework. One hand. <laughs> How the hell are you going to make in this business? One hand. You did it, John? Yeah. Good. Tell me, what is your uh, what is a market cap? Okay. <clears throat> Anybody else? It's very simple. What is the ratio between Korean one and dollar? What? Yes. Just divide by a thousand. So do that right now. What is the market cap? What? Eighty-seven million. Roughly about twelve dollars. Roughly about what? Five and a half million shares. How much is that? Don't use that one. Don't use you know use your kind of you know get used to if you want to read a lot of company you know there's a lot of a company this one okay each page should take no more than five minutes and the only way to do that is don't use those calculators just get yourself into more of a mental uh, little things you can really look at those things and immediately within five minutes you get a pretty good summary of the basic financial data so don't use all of that tell me the numbers. Twelve five and a half million, okay, so sixty some million dollars. Give or take five, ten million doesn't kill you. What is their earnings? Last year. Give me the kind of pre tax number. Come on, you guys, you're the Columbia Business School class, you're the elite, you expect to make $150,000 as a base, what do we people pay you for? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> how much is that? Give me the pre-tax earning, how much is that? <laughs> pre-tax earning? Just read a few lines before, it's called, what is the net income? Twelve. That's a six months. <clears throat> Double that, and the year before is what? Twenty-four million pre-tax, thirty-one million. You're trading at a sixty million dollars of market cap, roughly about two times. What's your working capital? What's your book value? What is the book value? Come on. Come on, you guys have work to do. This is not good, Bruce. <laughs> I don't know what you're teaching them. I think they're still dividing by a thousand, right? Jesus. <laughs> Come on, divide by a thousand. There's 236 million. It's simple. 230 million dollars in book, 60 million in market cap, 25 million net earnings, and 31 million pre-tax earnings. How much is, what is the constitution of the book value? How do you really go about to do this? We have to probably go to the basics. Okay, who can tell me how do you really do those things quickly? Just as, as an analyst, you know. Just. Just what, what do you say about it when people ask me, how do you really, within five minutes, tell me the basic sort of structure financially of this company? How do you go about Chase? Tell me. And? Uh, 
assets and just get a feel for how much is it roughly? Contribute the capital. So that's another hundred and eighty million or so fixed assets. Perfect. Simple. What do you use in businesses? Use some fixed assets and some working capital. That's it. And the good wills, you can really not count on them. But that's it. That's what you need to operate a business. That's what you mean by owner. If you're owner, you look at something like that, you should be able to tell right away. And if you can't do this, well, it's Bruce's fault. <laughs> I shouldn't really fault you. I mean, that's the basic you, you would learn, right? 